Welcome to a special Dell Technologies LinkedIn Live episode where we're going to cover the latest and greatest in technology and innovation for today and the future. I'm your host, Courtney Hughes. What I'm really excited about is to talk about the future. And I'm joined with Nicola from our Experience Innovation Group to talk about the future of connection. I'm excited that you're excited. And as you mentioned, yes, we're I'm part of the Experience Innovation Group and we get to reimagine the future like five to 10 years out. I mean, to be working on technology five to 10 years out, I mean, it's got to be fun. It is huge fun. But I also get that people feel quite intimidated about what's on the horizon. Yeah. So really what we're trying to do is take a step back and think, okay, there's like three big platforms where we're all going to be working across. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our good old physical environments. Absolutely. Digital environments and virtual environments. So how do we start to bridge the gap between that? And what I mean by that is... If I'm someone that wants to work across all of these different environments with my team, how do I ensure that we can do that really seamlessly and intuitively and with great confidence? Mm -hmm. And not only that, as we create and build our projects across these different worlds, how can I access and share that content Mm -hmm. in a way that is understandable and accessible, Mm -hmm. but also is easy for people that don't want to be in one of these environments. You know, I can imagine that there's some people out there that they're just not ready for virtual environments yet. But does that mean I exclude them from my project? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah. So we're trying to understand and unpack and build products and experiences that really start to explore, okay, how can I help ground you? give you the confidence that you can you need to explore mm-hmm. these different worlds. How does that enhance that virtual experience in connecting with your team yes. in a virtual world? Okay, yeah. so great question, because what we're doing differently, a little bit differently this year, is we're not just turning up here to talk about one-off product concepts. Yes. Right? So we're really excited about looking at familiar objects, like, for example, a tablet and a pen, mm-hmm. And having you bring those objects from your physical environment where they're really familiar and grounding for you. But let's track them also in a virtual environment, Mm -hmm. as an example, where you can listen to the conversation and see all your teammates in a virtual space. But you can note take in a really natural way. You can edit your note. Oh, and you can share your note, right? You can Mm -hmm. just grab it, throw it up there on that virtual whiteboard for everyone to see and for us to make comment on, edit and refine. Or another way, you know, just now a lot of people use speech to text and I can decide where I want that to go yeah Yeah. on my tablet yeah okay that looks about right and I'm going to share it with others all of this sounds so exciting and I'm ready to try it for myself okay let's go the first environment we're going to take you to is an immersive VR environment where you'll put on a headset and you're going to be part of one of our product teams you're going to see, for example, our companion product, which is a tablet with a pen. You're going to be able to confidently take notes either through inking or speech to text. You're going to be able to fling those notes up on that virtual digital whiteboard and just have a much more intuitive, immersive experience and ultimately have fun. We know that everyone is not going to want to be in a virtual reality experience the whole time. So I'm going to now ask you to take off your virtual reality headset and we're going to walk you through to the next immersive space. What this space will help you understand is you don't need to be in a VR headset the whole time. We've created a space, let's call it a window, that allows you to be grounded in your physical environment but actually still see and interact with the colleagues that have chosen to still remain in the VR space. So this window creates almost like a whiteboard where you can see what your colleagues are doing, you can interact and you can refine and you can create content together, but you are not tethered to a wearable device. You are stood in your home office, you know, or at your work, but you're still very much a part of the discussion and the team overall. And then the third immersive space that we're going to walk you into is a space where we've reimagined a future desktop. It's an area where you can enjoy 2D and 3D content. You're still a part of that same project team. You can see through this new desktop window what they still are working on 
and you can see in 3D, again, without being tethered to any wearable, you can see and manipulate the same content that they're looking at as a 3D object. So we've designed that as an experience, again, to show you there's varying levels of immersion here across these three different worlds. Trevor, I'm so excited to talk to you today about all of the innovation in Concept Luna. Where last year we introduced a notebook concept that was really centered around sustainability, mm -hmm. where we reduced the carbon footprint by over 50% compared to a traditional notebook. Right. But this year we wanted to go even bigger. We wanted to go further. And so we looked at different ways that we can explore mm -hmm. materials. We looked at ways that we can explore construction. Right. We looked at ways to do things even beyond. Let me introduce you to Concept Luna, where it looks like a, just a traditional notebook, but actually we use low carbon aluminum for durability. We use recycled plastics throughout, mm -hmm. and we made it so much easier to even get into. Where before we had four screws. I was really impressed with the four screws. Now we have eliminated that, and we made it easy wow. to go through. So all you have to do now is push a small little button inside the keyhole lock. Uh huh. Then you can remove the keyboard assembly. Man. And once inside, you can actually see how simple and elegant the design is. Everything yeah. has changed inside. Right. So here we have the speakers that lock in place, mm -hmm. come out easily, and you can even take the battery out. Yep. The fan module. Fan. Uh huh. And now the motherboard. And if you noticed, everything that we took out of here, you didn't have screws, yep. you didn't need the tools, and you didn't have to interface with a cable. But we even made it even easier to get into the LCD screen. Free screen, yes. Yeah. So now you can remove the upper keystone, slide down the LCD, move this little component, wow, and then everything's disassembled. So in seconds. In seconds. So typically, a notebook can take over an hour to disassemble for harvest today. Wow. We just showed you we can do it in seconds. Wow, it looks like you brought the factory to us. We did, we brought you a factory. So this is the micro factory. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it takes the module health of each one of the components that I showed you earlier. And what it can do is detect and know which one to change. So from a robotics, let's say that you had an issue with the motherboard. Okay. It can detect that, and then it goes and changes that out. So you can use an automation to go and detect, but we also add optical AI. So optical AI actually looks and sees cosmetic issues okay. with the system. So if you had a scratch, or somebody dropped it and dented, or you have a too much wear mm -hmm. on a keyboard, or even a cracked screen, you would know to replace that. So you can recycle, refurbish as needed. Just imagine if the industry that builds millions and millions of systems every year could be built like this, yeah. and that you can reuse and recycle again and again. And that is why we're making concepts like this. And that's a wrap on a vision of the future. Compute at the edge combined with a defined look at interaction and hybrid life. It's another way Dell Technologies is driving human progress. And we can't wait to see what's next. And don't forget, Dell Technologies World is this May in Las Vegas. This is your chance to hear the latest announcements and discussions with Dell executives, attend workshops, and meet with vendors on the expo floor. Thanks for joining us on our LinkedIn Live journey. All four episodes will be available on the Dell Technologies YouTube channel. Till next time, I'm your host, Courtney Hughes. Take care.